everyone, Sam here from The Skin Blog. In this video, I'll be talking to you about black currant seed oil, cosmetically known as Ribes nigurum seed oil. Black currants originate and are cultivated through Europe and Northern Asia, but weren't well known until they began cultivation within the UK in the 1700s. We know the plant, leaves and berries have been used within medicine all of that time for a variety of different reasons. Now you'll see why from some of the unique effects it has on just the oil soluble parts. Black currant oil has a shelf life of up to 24 months due to its rich antioxidant content. Its coloration ranges from yellow to almost blackish green. There's a slight black currant like aroma around it and it's non-comogenic with a factor of one while absorbing slightly faster than normal to a factor of two. Its oil yield is around 26% and it has an iodine index of 173, which is 73 above what's needed to be counted as a heat sensitive carrier oil. It, this will most likely be down to the fact it has a very high unsaturated fatty acid content, which will be the leading cause and usually coincides with shorter shelf lives. But when there's other phenolic acids, tocopherols, etc., things that provide the antioxidant properties to an oil, that usually extends the shelf life due to the fact that that will take on the oxidation and the fatty acids would. Very similar to what would normally happen when it's placed on the skin, preventing your skin from lipid peroxidation. So its fatty acid profile is incredibly unique with a variety of different unsaturated fatty acids. The majority being omega-6 linoleic acid with up to 55%. The next is omega-9 oleic acid up to 18% omega-3 alpha linolenic acid up to 16%, omega-3 gamma linolenic acid up to 15%, omega-7 palmitic acid up to 9%, and finally, omega-3 sideridonic acid up to 4%. Now, I'm going to separate these into different groups due to how many types there are. <coughs> the primary fatty acids found to benefit your skin are both unsaturated, omega-6 linoleic acid and omega-9 oleic acid. Both are fantastic for your sebum, with linoleic acid specifically helping to regulate your sebum levels and reduce the risk of clogging of pores. This, in, this basically affects and reduces the risk of acne. While omega-9 oleic acid provides more potent emollient properties while strengthening your skin barrier. This is also supported by the only saturated fatty acid found within this oil called palmitic acid, which is an omega-7 and is known for its stability while improving the emollient properties of the product itself. As I said, it's even better at doing this than oleic acid. It also works to primarily soften your skin while improving water retention. The three powerhouses found within blackcurrant oil are omega all omega-3 unsaturated fatty acids, both alpha and gamma linolenic acid alongside sideridonic acid. All of these are rarely found in carrier oils and provide amazing benefits, such as working to stimulate collagen and ceramide synthesis while moisturizing your skin. There are also papers showing that the omega fatty acids can help to prevent skin cancer. I don't know about you, but I'll be covering myself in an oil once I find a paper, sh this oil, once I find a paper showing the specific effects of omega-3 fatty acids having on skin that, to prevent skin cancer. Essentially, other than that, though, they provide the same benefits as linoleic acid, such as anti-inflammatory, anti-irritant, while regulating your sebum and reducing acne. So, quercetin is a flavonoid found in high concentrations within blackcurrant oil. It's best known for acting as a pigment, but in this case, we love it for its rich antioxidant capabilities, specifically protecting your skin from UV damage. Although some oils, more likely butters, have been shown specifically to provide more noticeable UV protective properties. So you should never rely though on oils and butters to do so. Always stick with your sunscreens, but it's always worth noting if there is any UV protective properties. The next unique compound is cumaric acid, which is stated to be shown and contained within blackcurrant oil. It's also known for its rich antioxidant properties and being found in very rich concentrations within rosemary CO2 extract, which is why rosemary is commonly used to extend the shelf life of an oil-based product. Cumaric acid's antioxidant capabilities have been shown to surpass tocopherols, significantly helping to protect you from free radical damage. The most interesting benefit of cumaric acid though is its inhibition of tyranase, which is how most skin lighting ingredients are used to improve hyperpigmentation dark spots, and other melanin-caused issues. In tests, cumaric acid was shown to supersede coigic and arbutin, 
uh, their abilities to reduce tyranase and improve the different pigmentation-based skin conditions. So if pure cumaric acid is sold, or if you want to produce a rosemary infusion, the pigmentation and blemic market would definitely be the best place for you to, for your market audience. Even with using blackcurrant oil for body and facial blemishes alone would be specifically fantastic. Finally, I kept the best to last, which is blackcurrant oil's tocopherol content. Honestly, I believe it's one of the richest oils out there when, when it comes to curry oils. With one paper, um, one research paper stating that it contains an average of 1,143 milligrams of tocopherols per 100 mil. That's four times as much as raspberry seed oil, which until this video and the additional research I do per video, it was the one I thought surpassed everything else. Now, it contains a mixture of alpha, gamma, and delta tocopherols, with one reference stating that 34% of blackcurrant oil's tocopherol content is alpha tocopherol, the more biologically active and beneficial than the other three mentioned. That's around 3,900 milligrams of alpha tocopherol per litre. All of these tocopherols work to protect your skin from free radicals and prevent lipid peroxidation, but alpha tocopherol specifically will work to protect your cellular membranes as they are naturally found present there. This incredibly high concentration of tocopherols will be what causes blackcurrant oil to have such a long shelf life. Formulation wise, the pricing is incredibly expensive. So if you intend to use the organic supply, keep it purely for your high end facial and eye based products. We have some 14 suppliers that we know of ranging all the way up to 400 plus pounds per liter. If you're happy with natural to cold press supplies of blackcurrant seed oil, buy from Maker's Ingredients. They supply a natural unrefined version for only £38.70 or $44.14 per litre. Even paying for the worldwide delivery makes them far cheaper than most other suppliers. If you use them, I try it in body oils as well, especially those aimed at specific skin conditions due to blackcurrant's rich variety of omega fatty acids and antioxidants. Anyway, thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, leave a message if there's any topics that you'd also like us to cover. See you soon.